Hi, it's Tamara here with another card making tutorial. This week using this gorgeous image from Sweet November Stamps, Bunny Baby Butterfly. I'll be doing some Copic colouring and then a very easy and quick card making tutorial. So let's get started with some colouring. Now I was just going to have a plain white panel for my background but I've decided I just wanted to give it a little bit of a splash of colour. So I've grabbed out some um, watercolour palettes that I've got in my stash and I just um, grabbed out the purple to fit my theme and then I'm just adding a little bit of white to it because the purple was quite a dark colour. And just using my rounded brush head I'm just tapping off with using my finger just to make a beautiful little purple splatter all over that background. So I thought that would really work well with his outfit and the butterfly. I've grabbed the largest die from Lawn Fawn in the scalloped and I'm going to cut out a purple background for behind my main white panel with my splatter. So I've grabbed a rectangle die that's going to fit in perfectly in front of that and we'll cut that um, splatter panel out and then matching that background purple cardstock I'm going to cut out um, this suite from Lawn Fawn twice just to give it a bit of stability. So just adding a small amount of glue 
to that, making sure it's all lined up and we'll set that aside to dry. I've grabbed out these Reveal Wheel Spring Sentiments from Lawn Fawn and I'm going to be just spelling out two little lines. Hope your Easter is and then obviously using the sweet for the final part of the sentiment. So I'm just using my Versa Mark Onyx Black Ink to stamp those out. I'll also be stamping out these little butterflies from MFT. Just two of them just to add a few little um, butterflies floating around our little baby bunny. And just adding my anti-static powder tool and using my Versa Watermark ink to get a nice impression. Just do that twice to make sure there's plenty of ink there for our white heat embossing powder to stick to. Uh, just with using a folded piece of A4 cardstock to catch any excess, we can get that put away really easily. I've preheated my heat tool and just going to get that all beautifully melted ready for ink blending. I'll be using Distress Oxide's Dusty Concord and Sponge Sugar and some little ink blending brushes to apply my ink blending. It uh, doesn't matter that you go outside of where your um, heat embossing powder is because once you've cut it out with the dyes um, you don't even really notice that it is outside those lines. And once you're happy with the blend I just grab a microfiber cloth and wipe off any of the excess ink off the heat embossing and it looks perfect. And with my strip sentiments, I've just grabbed a strip sentiment die from MFT and just going to cut those out. As always, I like to measure it um, on one end and then come back and cut that on the other end so you have that perfect fitted um, sentiment strip. So you see I've done that end and then I just move the die to the end near the yaw and run that through the die cutting machine just on that end. And now we have this perfect size sentiment strip. And I've done the same for the Easter. Now we'll cut out our butterflies with our coordinating dies. And as you can see, once I pull those out, you don't even notice that that color is on the outside of those lines. I've set out roughly where I want everything to go on my card and I just have an old phone that I just use to take some pictures so I know where to um, place everything. Now I was just going to glue this purple background to the back but I decided I wanted to pop that up uh, with some foam tape so instead I'm just going to attach our ink splattered panel with the glue to the front of the purple. And as you can see, I like to reuse um, papers if they don't get used. That way I'm not um, doing any wastage. Now to ensure that I've got my card open correctly, I have uh, just like opened it to make sure I'm putting it on the right side. I'll just put some foam tape around all of the edges to get a nice bit of support. And I'll also put one just in the middle. Get off all the release paper. And then we'll just get that attached to the front of our card again with just that nice white border that will sit around. So just lining that up and give that a press. So now I'll add our sweet because that's our main sentiment down the bottom and then build up our images on top of that. So just got a small amount of glue, grabbed my tweezers and we'll get that centered at the bottom of our card. To make sure that's all lined up and just give that a press down. I'll just grab an acrylic block so that that holds that in place uh, while I grab out all the rest of my elements. So here you can see me trying to find my block. Now that's dry I'll just add our little um, sub sentiments up the top. So I thought I'll add the Easter is first because that is closest to our suite and then just add our hope your is above. And just again making sure they're all lined up straight. So we'll glue down our little bunny baby butterfly and get him just sitting on like he's standing on the end of that T. Give him a good press and then we'll add our butterflies just strategically placed around him so that it draws your eye to our main image. And we'll get that just angled up the top. And this is the finished card project for today. This was really quick and simple to make and Bunny Baby is just so gorgeous. I think you'd be able to use him for Easter or even for a baby card. 
I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. It was so fun to make. If you have, please leave a message and hit the like button. And if you'd like to see any future videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.